What's up, Trainiacs? Morning. Welcome to 2020. Happy New Year. With it being a new year, of course, everyone's thinking about their new races, their new plans, their new goals. I'm doing the same thing. Today, we're going to talk about what the goals and plans are for this channel, our website, Team Trainiac, Kim and I, all kinds of things like that. Let's dive into it. It's a new year. It is exciting. So, Trainiacs, I do one of these every single year and talk about the things that we've got on tap for the coming year, what you can expect from me. Now, of course, throughout the year, it ends up changing. I didn't really talk about this last year where we ended up going from a video every single day to ending that video every single day to three videos a week. Well. This year is no different. We might change as 2020 unfolds, but at this point, here's where my head's at. And I guarantee that this is gonna change because frankly, I'm not a big like five, seven year plan kind of guy. I'm more like a what's the coolest thing that we can do that's the most helpful in the next three months. And here's where our head's at with that. The first thing is teamtrainiac.com. Teamtrainiac.com is where we are putting the vast majority of our energy. What we did over this past year in 2019 was essentially we got the website up, it worked, it got people to some PBs. A lot of people said that they were aced faster, feeling better, recovered from injuries. We had a couple of people qualify for world championships. Lots of people hit personal best. But frankly, the website was like an MVP, a minimum viable product. And there's a phrase in tech development that if you don't get embarrassed by your first version of something that you released, you released too late. And certainly I look back at what people came on board for. We had, I think, a tops 365 Trainiacs training on it. I look at it and like, we could have done so much better. Well, we now have a Trainiac internal that is monitoring the development. We have a development team out of the Ukraine where there's anywhere from two to six people working on it at a time. So there's lots and lots of updates. In addition to that, we've brought on some consultants in Dan Plews and Paul Larson and a one-on-one -on -one coach, pro triathlete Scott Bayville, who is one of Paul Larson's athletes. So big, big changes and updates and improvements that's gonna happen largely over the next six months that you're gonna see. And it's things like we're rewriting and reworking all of the workouts to make sure the periodization and the weekly workout breakdowns are really designed well based off of what Dan Plews and Paul Larson recommend. We're making sure and I'm recording and uploading an audio file or a video file to explain every single workout. Like these are thousands of workouts to make sure that every single workout is really straightforward and you know how to execute it and why we're doing certain workouts at certain times of the year, how to approach certain times of the year, things like that. We're also changing the user experience, making sure that Trainiacs can search for other Trainiacs that are local, Trainiacs that are in cities that maybe you're traveling to, Trainiacs that are racing similar races. We're making sure that the social media side of it is more interactive, a little more like Facebook, a little less like Strava, so that you can get good comment threads going and chat amongst each other and we're just improving the general user experience, the interface, making sure that you can move workouts around on your own, that you can see a calendar view of the entire year, that you've got a dashboard that shows you where you're at in your training. Are you falling behind or are you on track? All these things that we're trying to tie in, they take a long time and a whole lot of ones and zeros from techies, but that's what we're working on and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Next, I say this every single year that I wanna put a bigger focus on triathlonterran.com. That's kind of the catch-all. That's the start of where people should go if they wanna take their training with us to the next level. It's not teamtrainiac.com because you might not be ready to switch what you're doing, but if you want to basically go somewhere and learn a little bit more about our training methods beyond YouTube, that's what we're going to focus on in 2020. 
like I say, I say this every single year, but I think now we've got a strategy in place to do it. So what we've got right now is there's lots of freebies that you can kind of go and get some free downloads and maybe go over and see some podcast posts, but it's not very structured. When you go to triathlonterran.com, you don't really know where to go and you don't know which free resources are really going to help you. You don't know which books are going to help you, who it's going to help. So what we're gonna do with the website is basically just build in some tools that you can indicate where you're at in your training. Are you a beginner, are you intermediate, are you super advanced? Do you struggle with biking, swimming, running, all of those, and it'll point you in the direction of which free resources you should look at or which books you should think about, or are you ready for Team Trainiac? And it'll kind of help you know where to go for the most beneficial resource for you. In addition to that, I think what we're gonna do is work with those one-on-one -on -one coaches like Scott Baybell to start creating more regular blog posts. I know I say this all the time, but frankly, I just run out of time. But what we're going to hopefully build in is make sure that the one-on-one -on -one coaches that are on teamtrainiac.com are able to write an article every single week about training in general, specifically for the developing triathlete or just interesting topics so that we can be a one-stop shop with free resources, with articles, with podcasts, with access to books, previews of books, things like that. As far as the YouTube channel goes, I think, well, I know that as long as we keep doing things here, we are going to hit 100,000 subscribers and my guess is that that's going to happen somewhere around March or April is my guess. It's sort of when we're on track for it. And when that happens, hopefully we don't have to wait years and years for a silver YouTube play button, but after five years of uploading videos and that being one of my original goals to be the first triathlon channel that reached that, well, I didn't become the first because Global Triathlon Network came in and did it in a matter of about five or six months. But to hit that goal, That'll be kind of fun. With the Triathlon Terran podcast, it is already and still is the most highly rated, ranked, reviewed, and I think one of the largest triathlon podcasts in the world. But the numbers that I've heard is that there are some competing podcasts that in past years have averaged close to 15,000 downloads per episode. Some of those podcasts don't exist anymore. So that's why I say that we are, I think, the largest because we're around 12,000 average downloads. I'd like to hit that number where we surpass 15,000 average downloads per episode. And I mean, for no real reason, that be kind of a cool number to hit. Shows that we're growing it and we're gonna continue to do those every single week and have some bonus episodes every month with Coach's Corner and maybe even bring back some Q&A. Thought about that, but to be determined. Training wise, I think I'm going to end up doing two races. Now, I haven't yet 100% confirmed this because it depends a little bit on training camps and how the first race goes and then that kind of dictates what the second race is, but I am committing to working towards getting to Kona. What it's looking like right now is I believe we're gonna end up racing the first Ironman of the year in June. And we had a few options, I had Frankfurt, Hamburg, Subic Bay in the Philippines, Ironman Cork. Going to Germany makes it really hard to get to Kona. Everyone is a monster there. So Frankfurt and Hamburg, probably out of the question. They can also be fairly hot. Subic Bay in the Philippines, really hot. I do not do well in heat. Ironman Cork in Ireland, cold, slightly hilly, brutal weather besides the hills, sounds a lot like Winnipeg. We have brutal weather here too. I think the average is about 15 to 17 degree Celsius highs, which is, uh, do quick math, somewhere around 55 to 60 Fahrenheit. That's my money spot. So I think that's gonna be the first crack at getting to Kona. In all honesty, I don't really expect to qualify there. I think I need more times of wrapping my head around Ironman training and racing. I think I need to do, compared to Challenge Roth, a similar performance, but 
Instead, just like a 915 to a 920 is sort of the fitness that I need to get to. That means I need to shave off anywhere between 21 and 26 minutes from a comparable challenge Roth performance. I don't know if I can do that. So that means that we try to race again if I don't make Kona and having enough time to prepare for that means that I'm racing next in September. And that leaves basically Maryland and Wisconsin. And I'm leaning towards Wisconsin at this point because I know some people there from back in my curling days and I got a place to stay. Finally, the big news is that NTK, Kim, no triathlon Kim is going to start working for us full time this year. This is uh, a slightly terrifying thing. So the goal for that over 2020 is to not murder each other. But frankly, I'm really looking forward to that because over the past year, as I've started traveling more, it's been a little bit lonely. I would end up in pretty cool places and there's neat things to do. But when you're by yourself, because the pro triathletes or the event that you're working on, they're all working on their event and it's not like I tend to go and sightsee and do things by myself. So I'd end up in Airbnbs just chilling out for like entire evenings or afternoons just by myself. But now NTK can come along and we can experience those things together. So that should be fun. And it's slightly scary. So Trainiacs, those are the goals for 2020. A little bit of racing a lot of just kind of taking everything that we've done over the course of the past couple of years and making sure that instead of having just free stuff here and books here and blah, 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 and everything just kind of scattered about, making it easier for all of you to know what to use, streamlining things so that it's straightforward and you know how to, if you want to, start training with us a little bit more beyond just YouTube because we do a lot of things and we wanna make sure that it's easy for people to get the benefit of those things. Helps us, helps you. And if you wanna be along for the journey and see if NTK and I survive 2020, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Happy New Year, everyone. Have a great year. I wanna hear from you what your goals are for 2020 in the comments below. Later, Trainiacs.